Hello everyone. Wanted to show you how you can use PowerPoint, Microsoft PowerPoint, to edit a photo and to utilize that photo um, for another project that you are working on. So I have a picture here of my auntie um, Gladys Williams that passed away a little bit over a year ago. And so I'm going to use this photo to add wings to her background so you can see what that will look like and so you can see how you can do it also in Microsoft PowerPoint. You would then be able to take that image and take it to your Cricut Design Space as a JPG and print that out um, as t-shirt transfer and then cut it out on your cutting machine and then iron it on to your t-shirt. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so here you can see this is not the best photo to work with because there's things in our hands. Um, background is really dark. So what we're going to do first is we're going to remove this background, okay? So in order to do that, I'm going to save this picture um, to my desktop and I'm just going to call it Gladys 2 because I've kind of played around with it a little bit to kind of get uh, this video so it won't take so long. So I'm just going to call it Gladys 2. Uh, putting that in the wrong area. I want to put it right here. Gladys 2. So we're going to save our photo to our computer. So if you have a, a photo, um, you want to make sure you upload it to your computer or on your phone, whatever you're working with. And then you want to save that to where you're going to be able to locate it. And then you want to go to this software that is online. Um, and it's called remove.b as in boy, g as in good. Remove.bg. So I'm going to bring that over to my screen here for just a second. And you're going to select upload image. And then I'm going to go back and locate that photo, which here it is. I'm going to open it. And it's going to remove the background. So now the background is removed. And if there were parts that it didn't remove that you wanted it to remove, so let's say that I wanted to remove the lower half here, then you would just click on edit erase and then you would be able to use your eraser to take out whatever it is that you did not want in the photo okay so i'm just going to erase this just to show you if you're not familiar with remove bg or remove.bg i'm just going to leave it like that Okay, so that's how you would uh, remove the background. Once you remove the background to your liking, if you accidentally erase something that you didn't mean to erase, then you would just go to restore and then you would just re-put back whatever you just erased. You also have an undo and a redo button. So um, I will show you that in just one second. So here is the um, undo and the redo. So you can use those just like you do in other software programs. Alrighty, so I'm just going to erase this little part right back here. Okay. It's not going to matter much because I'm not going to use that part. But anyway, once you get it to your liking, um, then you want to go ahead and hit download and download image. It's going to put it into the form of a PNG right here in the bottom left corner. So I'm going to select that. And then I'm just going to right click and say save as. I'm going to save it right back to my desktop. And it's just going to take on the same name, but it'll have remove EVG in it. That way you'll know that that's the one with the background removed. So we're going to hit save. And don't worry about the fact that it looks small. It's going to be fine. All right, so we're going to go here. And we are now going to locate our photo. 
and I know it's on my desktop. And we're going to take the one that is um, with the BG in it. So I'm just going to type in Gladys. And there we have it. You're going to select that and insert it right into your PowerPoint. All right, so at this point, what I'm going to do is I'm going to also have PowerPoint to do some removing for me as well. Um, but before I get there, I'm going to crop this photo. So if you don't know how to crop, you just select your image. You want to make sure picture format is selected. And then you're going to crop. And you have these little um, dark uh, lines here. Those are the areas where you can crop. And so I'm going to crop the bottom part. So I'm just going to drag and click right on the dark line. Alrighty. So I'm going to remove that. And then I'm going to come over on the bright side. And I'm going to take out a little bit of that right there. I'm going to come in a little bit here. All right, so then the next thing is I'm going to select our image, select picture format up at the top from the menu, and I'm going to choose remove background. So it's also going to remove a part of the background as well. And then you have two options here at the top left to either mark areas to keep or mark areas to remove. I'm going to select mark, mark areas to keep, and then I'm just going to reselect her top part up here. I'm going to kind of try to get a little bit of the shoulder back. There we go. All right. And then it kind of took her little earring. Let's put that back. Don't mess up my auntie earrings. And then we're going to do mark areas to remove. So I want to remove this right here. So I'm just going to click and drag down to remove that. I don't want that in the photo. And didn't see that coming. All right. So make sure that. All of the areas that you want are included. I didn't notice that it had taken on my little auntie's hair. Okay, so there we go. So now what we want to do is we want to replace this with something so that there's no, you know, empty space here. So you can select print screen on your keyboard. It's the PRTSC button. I'm going to press that and it's going to allow me to copy apart from the um, wherever I want to copy. So I'm just going to copy a portion of her blouse and then I'm going to right click and paste it. Then I'm just going to use my crop here just to crop out that darker area that I did not want in there. Make sure I get it on the, make it a little bit bigger so I can see it. All right, so we're going to crop out just this little area of the neck that I picked up by accident. And you have to make sure that you're on the black lines. Otherwise, it's just going to, um, it's not going to crop for you. So we're going to go here and take out that. All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to select that little piece of the fabric. And I think I want to come in a little bit more. I don't want that um, line in there. All right. So I'm going to copy and then paste. And you guys are pretty familiar with copy and paste, I'm sure. And all I'm doing is trying to make a patch so that I can cover up. Um, let's do it this way. Up the part of the blouse that I just um, took out, or not blouse, but a part of that little um, that little thing that she was holding in her hand. All right, so it's acting up and it's taking longer than I want it to do. So I'm just going to delete that and I'm going to go over here and see what it looks like. So I'm going to bring it up. Now, you probably won't have to do this, guys, um, but 
I'm kind of funny, particular about certain things. So I'm just going to come in and get all that white out. There we go. So now I'm going to drag that back down. And I'm going to go over to my right and select shadow. And I'm going to choose soft edges because I want to soften up the background a little bit so it doesn't look so harsh when I move it over. I'm just going to increase the size here just a little bit. Kind of rotate it. And let's go back and do a little bit more. I don't want to get it too much, but just enough where it doesn't look so like we, you know, like she has something in her hand. All right, so that's pretty good. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to take and I'm going to group these two together. So now it's just one image, okay, like that. And the other thing is sometimes when you see that an image, so I'm going to duplicate her for just a second. For some reason, it still has this crazy color in here. All right, so right click and copy. That's what I was trying to do, and then paste. All right, so what I'm going to do now, and you don't have to do this, guys. This is just me being funny. So I'm going to go back, and I'm going to crop again. And this time, I'm going to take out everything except for that left shoulder there and we can cut that and then I'm going to bring that over like that I'm going to come down and I'm going to make it look like both her arms were there <coughs> since we only had one we don't want to make it look super super the one shoulder. All right, so that's good. And then I'm going to take it and I am going to group it all together. And then I'm going to choose File, Save as Picture, and Desktop. And this time I'm just going to say Gladys 4. So you're going to save it back to wherever you want to save it on your computer. <coughs> And now I can go and say insert picture from this device on my desktop. And there it is. So we have a whole picture. And, you know, unless you're really being picky picky, you wouldn't even know that we went through all that to try to get this image without whatever she was holding in her hand only one arm was displayed in the photo, so it looks a lot better. All right, so then what you wanna do, um, there are some websites that you can go to to get free uh, pictures to work with. And so I'm just gonna list them here. So Pixabay is one. And then Cool S I L H is another one. You could go out to either one of those websites and find find some of the uh, cloud photos and also angel wings. So I'm just going to scroll through here just to show you. <coughs> Excuse me. All of these images here I took from Pixabay and Cool S I L H. So I can use any of these for my background images. And 
and this one I really love. This is the one that I used earlier when I helped that lady with her brother or her family member's photo. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy this photo, and then I'm going to take it and put it in one of these cloud pictures. <clears throat> Kind of like this because of her the clothing that she's wearing let's just see what it'll look like and then with your wings normally your wings are going to come just like this and you if you try to work with them this way you have to stretch them but it's still not going to break that opening <coughs> excuse me that you may need so i'm going to show you how you can separate those just going to duplicate duplicate the slides here. So what I'm going to do is just click on the image. I'm going to go back to picture format and I'm going to copy and paste. Okay. <clears throat> so now I have two sets of the wings and with picture format selected, I'm going to go to crop, crop, and again, make sure you're actually on that little bold line. And I'm going to drag that over and get rid of one of the wings. And I'm going to do the same thing with this one. So now I can move these around as I so choose. So I'm going to copy them. And then I'm going to go back to this photo. <coughs> and then I would be able to place those wings just like that okay now one of the things I'm not big on is floating images so this is like a floating image with no lower half of the body so I like to kind of play around with the image to make it look even a little bit nicer and so you have several ways that you can do that and if you don't like the background just copy everything and put it in another one of your backgrounds to see you know which one you like best so you can kind of play around with the different images or the different backgrounds to determine, you know, what do you like? Okay. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back because I just want to make this different. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to hit the print screen key on my keyboard so that it will allow me to copy. So I'm just going to take a snapshot here, go down just a little bit, and now I'm just going to insert a slide, and I'm going to paste what I just copied. <clears throat> so now I have a complete picture. Nothing is going to move. It's all one, one photo, okay? So what I'm going to do now is <clears throat> I'm going to click on picture format, and then just kind of play around with some um some circles here to see which one i like okay so i'm going to use one of those but what i'm going to do first i'm going to click on shift on my keyboard and then drag one of the corners so that i don't stretch out the image to make it look kind of wonky like that and then i'm going to insert text <coughs> I'm going to put a text box. This is where you could put, you know, rest in heaven. You know, some people put rest in peace, just whatever you want to put. And then you could even make that a different color. Uh, different font, kind of like that, bold it, and then kind of blow it up to whatever size you want to work with. <clears throat> and then you could also go and take and copy just to keep that same font going. And you could go here and you could put like, 
1952. And I'm just using this as an example. It's not mine. He wasn't born in 1952. I would be lying if I said I knew the actual year. But I do know that she passed away in 2019. <clears throat> All right. So I'm going to take and put, you know, like here and like here. Now you can design it however you want. My goal here today is just to show you how to use PowerPoint if you don't want to invest in additional software, how you can use PowerPoint to accomplish that same goal. All right, so I'm just going to select everything and just right click and say group it. And now when I click it, it's all going to act like one photo. I'm just going to copy, insert a new slide, and paste it. <clears throat> and this time I'm going to right click and say save as. And if you're familiar with how to use PowerPoint, some functionality of PowerPoint, some of this may be you don't need to do it that way, you know a different way. Oh Jesus, I forgot one of the... Got the 2019. Where did it go? There we go. All right, save this picture. Desktop, Gladys 15. Yeah. I delete that one. <clears throat> There we go. All right, so now I can take this and go back to my picture format and I can play around with, you know, some of these different shapes if I don't want it to be one way. What is this right here? Hold on one second. <coughs> with the let's do this print screen I'm just going to take this for some reason it's picked up some um, shape in there so I don't want that so I'm just going to go here and that way I don't have to worry about that shape there we go all right, so now I can go and I can take any of these picture format options up here and use those. I kind of like that soft edge. Um, I like that one. And you can actually, guys, you can um, duplicate it when you get it to your liking. You can duplicate it. And then, you know, choose whichever one you like best. So if you like that one, you know, <clears throat> this way you're not messing up what you have already. I'm torn. I like that one. But I also like... All right, <clears throat> so once you get it to your liking, then you want to save as, and this time I'm just going to say finish product under desktop, and then save. Now you're able, after all that hard work, you're now able to go into Cricut Design Space and say upload, upload image, browse. And I know I put it on my desktop and I called it finished. <clears throat> Maybe there 
is my image. our image and now you have it in Cricut Design Space and of course you want to do your spacing better than I did I'm just testing this out playing around just to show you um, but of course you want to make sure that you bring it up some so that everything is inside of here and not kind of hanging over but yeah at this point it's just a matter of clicking on you know make it make sure it's not too big click on make it it's going to send it to your printer and then you know after you send it to your printer you put it in on your physical mat put it in your cutting machine for it to cut out for you with no issues okay um but yeah that's it that's all that's to it guys if you have any questions comments concerns on how to do any other process that i showed here um i did move kind of fast because i'm getting ready to go to bed <laughs> Um, but I didn't want to uh, leave empty promises of doing a video, but not doing a video. And I just wanted to get it out of the way. But if you have any questions about the process, feel free to reach out to me. And if I can help you, I will. Um, if you are currently in my Facebook group, Ken Doris's Cricut and Creative Crafters, thank you for being a member of my group. And if you have not seen my videos on YouTube, you can search me by Doris Edwards. I have lots of videos, craft videos out there on how to utilize your cutting machines. Um, so please look me up on YouTube. And if you're not currently um, subscribed, then please subscribe to my channel and also hit the bell notifications up in the top right hand corner so you'll be made aware of any time I upload videos to YouTube because I do post at least once or twice a week. I do put videos out there. All right, guys, that's my story. I'm sticking to it. As always, each one reach one so that each one can teach one. You guys have a blessed day. Good night.